What up, Dope Pride Nation, and welcome to Luke G's Field Review. Apparently, there's some breaking news going on with our Detroit Lions. Now, I guess it ain't so much the breaking news as many people have already heard. Glover Quinn is no longer a lion. My job here is to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly about this release, and a uh, more in-depth uh, reason for those beliefs. Let's get into it. Let's start with the ugly. The ugly comes down to very simple this. Glover Quinn was talking retirement, okay? And needed multiple times throughout last season to figure out if he was gonna play or not. Uh, and, you know, he was older. So I can see why this move for the Detroit Lions was necessary. Now let's get into the bad. And the bad part is, is we're going to lose a leader, okay? He was clearly one of the leaders of the Detroit Lions. He was a leader on defense. He was a leader for the offense. He was just an all-around good leader and a good teammate. Um, so that's that's definitely bad. Um, he also did not, you know, he wasn't really feeling the Matt Patricia defensive system. And, and, and his coaching staff in Detroit. So, you know, that's that's not a good thing. You know, if people are not buying into the system, I don't always attribute that to them as being bad, but in this case, it's bad when, you know, when one of our leaders aren't buying into it, um, which at this point, it's not really all that bad because like I said, he's older. Now let's get into the good people. Whoo, let's talk about the numbers, people. If you would direct your eyes right here, people, I want you to take a look right here. You may be wondering why I want you to focus on this number. Because that is the cap hit we are gonna take, okay? 1,666,668,000 dollars. And that's where we are gonna be at uh, in terms of a cap hit, which is not all that bad. Because I want you to take your eyes and look over here, ladies and gentlemen. What that number is, is the money that we save, $6,250,000. So for almost $2 million cap hit, we almost saved $6.5 million. Now, some of y'all may be wondering, Luke, what's so special about that? The man is 33 years old, and had he been on our roster uh, come June 1st, he would have cost us... 4.2% of the cap. Now you may think 4.2% ain't much, but 4.2% is a lot, especially when you think about what this cut really means. And this is another part of the good. Our Detroit Lions are gearing up to do something in the free agency. They're targeting one or two, maybe three players. And out of those three players, one of them is probably gonna be a big name person. And when you look at the possibilities of, of who Glover Quinn is, what you will find out is, is Glover Quinn is somebody who will be missed in Detroit because I think he is one of the better line, uh, better lines that we've had. But I want you to be able to understand what this move really means. The lines are done cutting people, people. And you may be asking me, well, what do I mean? Tavon Wilson ain't safe, ladies and gentlemen. And another reason why this move is good is because the Lions did draft uh, Tracy Walker. So you're going to see a little bit more Tracy Walker uh, with this cut. But like I said, the Lions aren't done. And so you have people like TJ Lane, who is here. Okay. And right now, that's what he's getting paid. And to show you, I'll show you the cap hit. So this category right here is dead money. And it said this is the amount that will remain with the team's cap should the player be traded or released. So this is the amount that they're going to get the cap hit. This is the overall salary cap hit. So this is what they hit and this is the percentage. So we're going to scroll down to some of the people that I think you Detroit Lions fans should be prepared to see uh, getting released. Nev Lawson. If he's traded or cut, it's going to hit us for a good million dollars. All right? 
But if we keep him, he's going to cost us $5 million, and he's counting for 2.69% of our cap. He's going to be a casualty, okay? I'm not going to talk about people like D, uh, Virgin. These are like guys who are going to probably be practice squad. We already know they're getting cut. I'm only going to talk about those notable guys, you know. Um, and when we go down the list and we start to look at some of these other names, like TJ Lane, if TJ Lane is going to cost us almost two and a half million to be cut or released, or, or a little bit over two and a half million, then you already know that we're going to save a nice chunk because he's going to account for 11 million. So there's going to be another possible strong casualty, ladies and gentlemen. And then we're going to go down to my next few people because I want you to be able to see it. That's Trevor Bateman. Well, it doesn't cost us anything to get rid of him, and he's got some mental issues going on. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let me be clear. I am not frowning upon uh, mental issues. I take it very seriously, okay? What I am saying is, is that's $570,000 that we'll be getting back in money. This is just a business aspect. And you will notice here that our long snapper and our new linebacker do not have a salary cap listed, and that's because they are under what's called a future contract. They have not signed anything because it is against the rules at this point. So they are under a future contract, and that is not a uh, bad deal. But again, as you see, we clear up over $6.25 million in money for getting rid of uh, Glover Quinn. And let's go down to a few more cuts. All right, uh, where is he at? I just want to show you right here, Wilson. So it's going to cost us about $875,000 to get rid of Tavon Wilson. And if you figure $875,000 out of $3,778,125, it's going to be a huge, significant, yes. Yes, it is. Tavon Wilson is not safe. So what does this all mean? Because this is a lot of good in here. This means that the Detroit Lions is more than likely going to do something like draft a safety. Which, to be honest with you, that was always in play. That either means that they're going to look at uh, free safeties and other positions uh, that come with this team uh, that aids in this, this Lions team getting better in the secondary. And it's going to start with better play at, at the secondary, at the safety position. If you recall, I made a video talking about the importance of people like uh, it was great having a Ray Lewis, but he wasn't as important as Troy Palomalu. And I know some people are going to disagree with that, but the impact that Troy Palomalu had impacted the game way different than how, say, a Ray Lewis did. And I love me some Ray Lewis. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to give you that little quick breakdown. I'll go back for you to have a longer look at Mr. Glover's Queen's contract. And I just want you to see what he would have made had he stayed here. Had he stayed here, he would have gotten $20,827,500. And what I want you to be clear on is by releasing him, I want you to see all the things that they get back for that because they got he doesn't get a workout bonus no more. He doesn't get a roster bonus no more. You know, look, he's, he's getting 750000 just for being on the roster. Even if he don't play, he's getting 750000 for being on the roster. If he had a, even came in, and according to the way the NFL rules work, if he do at least one to two workouts, he gets another 250000 This move is a beautiful move by the Detroit Lions. It's a beautiful move by Bob Quinn. And I'm sure that our local radio show and media is going to spin it different. But remember, here at Luke G, we talk facts, no opinions. And therefore, I leave you with this fact right here. Ladies and gentlemen, your Detroit Lions are starting to look like a real NFL team. Your Detroit Lions are starting to do things that make sense. You cannot hold on to people who's going to hurt your cap when you need cap. And if you go back and remember, we have the 15th uh, best cap. Then that was at 29 uh, million. Um, so you figure we add another what six and a half in there, <laughs> and we still got cuts coming. Oh, it's finna get real, ladies and gentlemen. And what you're gonna see is, is this: for those who are wondering why wasn't Nav Lawson cut over Glover Quinn, 
he is not out of the woods yet. He is not out of the fire. He will be released, okay? He's not, there's no reason they're going to keep him. Now, does that mean they won't bring him back? Who knows? But as I can tell right now, he will be released. I think what they want to do is make sure that they get the people that they want before start before they dump the other people. So they're going to go out and they're going to sign some free agents and they're going to get their draft picks. And then you'll probably see somewhere between the free agent signing and the draft or after where Nav Lawson doesn't make this team. But that's it for now today, ladies and gentlemen. Um, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that uh, subscribe, like, and notification button. And as always, remember, don't be no chump. Please. Please do your research.